All right, what is up, everybody? My name is Grizzgoat. Welcome back to another episode of this franchise zoo series. Today we have a short, shorter episode than normal. Um, I've kind of been doing some planning, seeing where we're going next. Um, you know, I've been building in a straight line, so we are going to kind of be ending that for now. No longer adding to the straight line. Um, so by the end of this, we will actually have a preview of the layout we'll be working with for the next few episodes. Um, but this episode, we're just kind of building this little uh, food stall sitting area. Um, where people can come and sit, they can order food, go sit behind the behind the building there and look at the nice greenhouse and the Cayman exhibit um, and just take in the beauty that is that area. Um, so I'm sticking with the classical theme right now uh, just to kind of tie it in with the greenhouse a little bit, uh, but not too much. Thank you all for the support on my videos. Uh, it's been really fun to be making these and people actually interacting with them, uh, liking them, asking for the next video to come out. Um, that just gives me all warm and bubbly inside. So thank you to everybody who's doing that. Um, if you're new here, like and subscribe. Because we're just having fun. We're just out here having the most fun. And relaxing. That's the best part is we're just relaxing. And being creative. What else can I add? We're just living life, really. So you'll see one light is on right there and one light is off. I'm pretty sure that's because one light barely touches the power grid. Um, so we will have to, I think I do in this video actually, end up putting kind of a temporary power generator and a water filter down because our, our uh, the root of all those protesters in the background there is because the water in the Cayman exhibit is poor quality um, so we do eventually make our ca came in happy enough that we kick out all the protesters so that's a win for us I love the shade of green on these uh, the, I think they're the eco-friendly tables just so nice I just love that green I was really hoping to put the generator and the filter underneath this, uh, I guess, uh, patio, but I couldn't get the pathways to work for maintenance or anything, so we're just gonna have to deal with, um, <clears throat> deal with that. But I think that the end result looks really nice with, like, these big, uh, I don't know what kind of wall that is, cinder block wall kind of has like a castle -y vibe to it. I like it. And then in the comments below, let me know how you feel about what I ended up doing with this. Um, so I did go with uh, the signs originally for each stall. Um, but then I kind of felt like it. they look kind of just slapped on there. So I deleted them all. And I put uh, one of the awnings. Yeah, this awning right here. And I'm not... I'm not positive I'm sold on it. So let me know what you think about this. In the moment, it felt good. 
I think it looks, I don't know. The shade of green almost looks different. Let me know if you want me to change that. We can change that easily. No, I, I always stop to look at it. It just looks... I want to go here. Why doesn't this place exist in my in real life? So I was thinking about reversing my stalls uh, so that they order next to the tables, but then I started thinking about the amount of lines that will be in the patio area and I started thinking about my own frustrations in real life how much I hate seeing and dealing with lines so I think we have I think the stalls being where they're at is a good thing like those trees. I don't know if they're... I have some in my backyard, but I don't know. They kind of have like a that Victorian kind of like proper look to them, being how like straight and contained they are. So I think they work really well with the greenhouse. Here you can see that water is turning green. Hopefully it'll be blue one day. But was red, so we're, we improved the exhibit for him. I also think I'm about to sell one of my guys, one of my little Cayman friends. Um, yeah, there they go. There she went. We sold two of them, actually, so we only have two. That's the... It's unfortunate, but we want our animals to be happy. And our guests. The protesters were, uh, you know, making it kind of ugly. Okay, so here is the progress so far. We have the straight line that has a slight lean to it. I'll, I'll let you leave the joke in the comment section. And now we're going to be laying out the pathway of kind of... I made a little doodle the other day. A doodle for the park. So I'm just kind of roughly sketching out my doodle pattern. The pathways might change depending on the exhibits um, and whatnot, but it should roughly have two, kind of two directions you can go. Um, and the Grizzoo sign has those two little sloping things. I'm going to be adding like... Um, you know, if you go to the right, you're going to North American animal land. Or if you're going to the right, you're going to um, the South American animal land. We can get a little more creative with the titles, but yeah, I, I just think that sign has some big blank space that we can play with and kind of point people in a direction. If the visitors can read, we don't know if they can read or not. Um, I know they don't speak English. So yeah, they probably can't read English. Hmm. And now I'm kind of I'm changing everything to asphalt. I think it looks a little cleaner, and I kind of want to use the bark uh, pathways for... Uh, the more parky area, so I left that inside um, inside loop around the Cayman exhibit as the bark. And this is gonna be the the rough layout for the future videos. Um, so hopefully you liked it, like it. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully you like my commentary. Hopefully you like uh, this zoo so far. Um, subscribe, like the video, uh, and, um, comment, comment your favorite ice cream flavor. All right. Bye. Love you. 
Oh, and before I go, uh, next episode is going to be a freaking banger.